Good morning, everyone. Our uh, lecture today is about uh, sound and acoustic resonances. In this lecture, we will study the sound and how it propagates in medium. We will also look at uh, acoustic uh, resonances for uh, different types of instruments, uh, wind instruments and string uh, instruments. We will see what are the differences between those instruments when it comes to resonance frequencies. So uh, we have seen earlier that uh, the waves are from two types. We have longitudinal and transverse waves. The longitudinal is the sound waves where uh, the vibration is happening along the propagation direction. So as you can see here, we have this uh, drum membrane that is vibrating, resonating. And this uh, resonance has been transferred into the air and causing also uh, a compression and uh, rarefactions in that air. And this vibration is propagating along the direction of propagation, as you can see in this way. So we have the vibrations. The vibration is happening in this direction and the wave propagation is going in the same direction. So the high pressure uh, compressions and low pressure rarefactions are causing are the cause of this vibration uh, by the uh, vibration source, which was the the drum membrane. This sound, which is a longitudinal wave, also has a frequency and has a wave length, which means there is a velocity that is related to this frequency and the wavelength, as we know. The frequency is the inverse of the period. So once we have a distance and we have a time, this means we have a speed. And the relationship here is V equals to F lambda. Now the frequency depends on the source, while the wavelength depends on the medium of uh, propagation. Fine, so uh, the medium of propagation, sound propagates in different mediums. Air and water are one of them. Iron, wood are also medium that sounds propagates through. As you can see here, the velocity of the sound in the air is 340 meter per second, while for the iron, it's 5,000 meter per second, which is more than 10 times the velocity of the of the air so the denser the material is the faster the speed of the sound propagating in that material now let's move to the uh, resonances that uh, we talked about at the beginning of the lecture those are the types of uh, instruments or resonators that we will be dealing with here, if it's a string instrument, for example, it will be made of a closed, both the closed ends resonator. And in this case, once you have a closed end, definitely you have a nod on that closed end. So this is very important. Once you have a closed end, then the wave ha will have a node at this, at this end. And in this case, we will have the fundamental frequency following the same of what we have seen in previous lecture. We have L equals to N lambda over 2. So in this case, the fundamental frequency, when N equals to 1, is lambda over 2. This is the, the smallest frequency for a closed closed end resonator and then if we increase the value of n this means we will be reaching the higher harmonics we have then at n equals 2 we have l equals to 2 lambda over 2 which is l equals to lambda when we have the full wavelength then you have the second harmonics now, it is very interesting here to know how to identify 
what frequency you have in this resonator. Here, we are starting because it's a close to close. We start from, from the zero displacement, from the zero. And then you count the, the peak, right? So the, num the number of the peak here, we have one peak, which means we have we are in the fundamental frequency. If we have one peak, we are in the fundamental frequency. Again, this is for the closed, closed. For the second harmonics, count those peaks. Doesn't matter the negative or the positive ones. Those are the number of the harmonics. You can see one, and then this is the second one, two, for that function, or, you can say the number of loops. Number of loops here defines the number of the harmonics. So here we have the second harmonic. And then the third harmonics count with me. We were starting from zero because of the closed, because of the closed surface. We're starting from zero. Then you can count one, two, three, three peaks. This means third harmonics. Watch the uh, YouTube link I put here for you. This is going to show you how is the string uh, vibrating, resonating, and you can see those uh, peaks easily in this YouTube link. What we need to know is when we have a closed closed, then the minimum the minimum frequency is lambda would be from lambda over two, and then you can count the number of the harmonics based on the number of the peaks for the same function for the same function so if i am talking about if i pick this one then here doesn't hurt to put the the zero axis here then this is one this is two so this is the second harmonic now let's move to the second type of uh, resonators. So for the first time we said it's a string instrument. This is a string instrument or any sound wave trapping instruments as well. It has to be a fixed, fixed ends. Then let's move on to the second type of uh, instruments. This is a wind instrument where we have both ends are, uh, are open both ends are open. So in this case, I don't have the node. Here we are starting with the node because it's a closed. Now here, because I have it as an open, I won't be getting a node. There won't be a node. I will be starting from either the uh, maximum positive or maximum negative. So let's put the zero. So as you can see here, I will be starting from, take either here from uh, peak negative toward the peak positive. The distance between those two peaks, posit negative to positive, is, is a lambda over two. Now, how can we calculate the number of harmonics? Well, if you count the zeros, that's going to give you the frequency. So for one zero, you have the fundamental, which is, again, the open open is similar in terms of the minimum frequency coming from the lambda over 2. So it is L equals to N lambda over 2. For the fundamental, the length is equal to lambda over two. Now, if you put, again, this is an open open, so I don't have nodes right at the, at the ends of those open open. I have the nodes here. Count the number of the nodes. For the open open, this is going to give you the number of the harmonics. So this is the second harmonic. Again, if we are starting for the third harmonic, as you will see here, I'm starting from negative peak toward the positive peak, 
this is a lambda over two. Then from positive peak toward the negative peak, a second lambda over two. And then from negative peak toward a positive peak as a third lambda over two. So in this case, this is my third harmonics. Count with me. One, two, three. So this is a third harmonic uh, uh, resonance frequency. N is always goes from one, two, three, and up. Watch this video. This video is about uh, the uh, wind instrument that has uh, open, open ends and also open closed, which is the, our third resonator so watch this video that's a very interesting video that you can see uh, the, a demonstration about uh, uh, how is the frequencies changing based on the uh, structure of the resonator now the third one is an open closed the open closed resonator is a bit different for the open as you can see here, it's open, closed. The fundamental is lambda over four. Now, the fundamental frequency is lambda over four. So, if you put the zero, you have a closed end here, which means you have a nod. Once you have a closed end, you have a nod, right? And this one is an open, so this one will not be ending as a nod, or will be anti-nod, ending, ending as an anti-nod, which is either a positive peak or negative peak. It's a peak, either negative or positive. Now, when you count between the nod and uh, the peak, this is gonna be lambda over four. So, here, between zero and uh, a peak, is one lambda over four. Now let's look at the second example. And I suggest that you put your zeros, draw the zero here. Then you have a closed, again, you have a nod, right? That's a zero. Peak, zero, peak. Then this is, what, what kind of harmonic is this? This is one, two, three. This is a third harmonic. And as you can see, my expression that defines the length equals to the wavelength is n lambda over 4. Now, here in this resonator, n are only uh, odd numbers. So n is 1, 3, 5, y, because you have to terminate it as an antinode. You cannot terminate it as a nod. That's why. So if you if you think about it, it will always be fundamental or first harmonics, the third harmonics, and the fifth harmonics. So let's look at the fifth harmonic. Put the zero and count with me. So you have a closed end, then you have a nod. Count with me. Peak, zero. Peak, zero, peak, one, two, three, four, five. This is a fifth harmonic resonator. This is from the open, closed. Always remember. So we have three types of resonators. Closed to closed, the fundamental is for the fundamental is lambda over two. We, and those ends will have to be nods because it's a closed end. The second type is open, open. Also, this one have to be an anti-nod at the ends, it cannot be a nod. And the fundamental is L equals to lambda over two. So those are, lambda over two types, the closed closed and open open. The closed open has now a fundamental 
L equals to lambda over four. This is for the fundamental uh, frequency. And the harmonics are always odd. Why? Because you have closed open. You cannot end up with two nodes. One of them is a nod. The other one has to be an anti-nod. And we've seen how to count the number of the harmonic. Now let's move on here. The open, closed, open, closed is from the type of lambda over four resonators. And then I have the next one, the third harmonics, and then the fifth harmonics because it has to be odd numbers. So L equals to N lambda over four, where n takes one odd numbers, one, three, five, and so on. If you work it out, then you can find the lambda in terms of the, of the length. This is for the frequency. We know that the frequency is this, the velocity or the speed divided by the wavelength. Now the wavelength has been calculated. It's 2L over N, then this is the frequency expression, Fn equals to N, V over 2L. This is for both types, open, open, closed, closed. For the open, closed case, now the lambda is 4L over N. So this, those are the frequencies, the difference here. The difference here is and v over four so for the open close this is four and this is two for the close close or open open now in reality this is ideal in reality you always you will be getting a mix of uh, of higher harmonics so it's not always the fundamental frequency. You can always, based on your excitation, you can excite other frequency than the, the harmonic frequency. Now, I would like to talk about uh, a very quick comparison here between, um, uh, let's say, this open, open end pipe organ pipe for example in this case we have seen that uh, if i am to look at the fundamental frequency here because this is an open open so i will be starting from anti-nod and ending at also an anti anti-nod So if I assume that this is the length, and in this case, if I am interested in the fundamental frequency, then n equals to one. And in this case, I have L equals to lambda one over two. The frequency, again, is related to the, to the wavelength. Now look what's gonna happen if I come to this resonator that has the same length, And I close this resonator from here, as you saw in the YouTube video when when he closed uh, uh, one of the ends in the organ pipe. So what's what, what's going to happen? You notice that the the sound was uh, uh, weaker a bit, which basically uh, gave an indication that the frequency uh, was was less than the frequency for the open open. So let's see this. See what's, what, what, what happened actually. Since I have a closed end here, then I have a nod. This is a nod. And I know in closed open, my fundamental frequency as lambda two over four. It's gonna be different lambda, that's why I picked lambda two. Because the structure now has changed, although the length is the same. Now for the fundamental, I would be going from anti-node, which is peak, to zero. 
So even here, right? This is showing you the the two states that the the resonator is 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 going through. So even in this case, look what's going to happen now. This is lambda over lambda two over four. The length is the same. The only thing I did is closing one of the ends. So what's going to happen? If the length is the same, then I can equate both of them. Then I have lambda 1 over 2 equals to lambda 2 over 4, which means lambda 2 equals to 2 lambda 1. So the, the wavelength of, this, of the frequency for the second case is double the wavelength of the frequency for the first case, which means that uh, the frequency itself for the second case is half the frequency of the, of, the, of the first case. And in this case, I know that F1 uh, is two times F2. So the wavelength for the second case became greater than the wavelength for the first case, which means the frequency for the first case is greater than the frequency for the second case. Now let's look at this example. In this example, we have focal cords oscillate to produce sounds that are enhanced by the resonant cavity. If the cavity is modeled as an air tube with one end open and one end closed, what is the fundamental frequency of the voice of someone with, a, with vocal cords, resonant cavity that are 20 centimeter in length? So here we have a closed open. Closed. Put your zero level here to avoid confusion between the anti nodes and the nodes. So since you have a closed, you have a node. For the fundamental, this is the fundamental frequency, then between between zero and an anti node. So in this case. L equals to lambda over four. And I know here L is 22 centimeter, which means lambda is four times 22, 88 centimeter. I need the, the frequency, right? I know that the speed equals to F lambda. Then F equals to V over lambda, which is F equals to V is 340 divided by 0.88, then F equals to 386. Hertz. This is knowing the speed of the sound in the air. Knowing the speed of the sound in the air, the frequency is 386 hertz. In this example, the person in the previous example inhales helium. So the medium now is helium. What is the fundamental frequency of their voice now? Now, Instead of the air, he has, he has helium. The speed of the sound in the helium is 927 meter per second. So what's only going to change is the speed. I have the same uh, resonator, same time. So this is 0.88, and now this is 227. Then the frequency now becomes 1053 hertz. Why? Because the medium now has changed. 
the medium now instead of air is helium and uh, the speed of of sound and the helium is higher than the air okay so let's look at this example which of the following is the correct standing wave pattern for the fifth harmonic in a pipe with one end open and one end closed so it is very important to know what kind of resonator you have we have one end closed one end open we need to find the fifth harmonic so let's put our zero level here so we have here we have a nod right let's take this this wave then I know in closed open that the distance between a nod zero and a peak is lambda over four so I have one two three four five so this is uh, fifth harmonics fifth harmonic what about here let's put the zero level I have not which is zero one two three this is third this is the third harmonic this one is is wrong because it's not starting from the node right at this closed. So this one is the fifth harmonics. It's very easy, very straightforward, but you need to know how to do it. Resonance patterns. Which of the following is the correct standing wave pattern for the third harmonic in a pipe with both ends open? Both ends open means that the fundamental is happening at lambda over two and the distance as we said before is between two peaks so between two peaks is lambda over two so i have one i have two right i have this is open open between here to here is lambda over two between here to here is a another lambda over two so this is a second this is a second harmonic let's look at this this one is having an odd at an open end that's wrong let's look at the third one i have open so i'm starting from anti nod that's okay this is right from peak to a peak, lambda over two. Peak to another peak, lambda over two. From peak to peak, lambda over two, then this is a third harmonic. So C is the correct answer.